What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a like if you really enjoyed this one. But without further ado, let's get right into it. I have the Urbanite Primo V3 complete right in front of me. This thing is awesome. I've been riding the Bone deck and another deck that they've sent to me as well, which is a prototype at the moment. So I can't actually wait to ride the complete version. We're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna tell you some specs about this scooter. Put the wheels on, put the bars in, all that kind of stuff. Go to the skate park. The deck is 4.7 inches wide by 21 inches long. So it's the same as last year's. And the bars right here are 24 inches high by 24 and a half inches wide. I normally ride my bars at 22 inches, but I'm not gonna be cutting these ones down today. I wanna ride the scooter exactly how you guys would buy it. So I can get the best review to you guys and let you know exactly what you're buying and the things I didn't like and things I did like. The V3 has an 82.5 degree head tube angle, which is nice. I prefer 83, like I've always said in all my videos. And it does come with SCS. There's not many complaints on the market that actually come with an SCS fork. Most of them come with IHC and a standard size bar, but this one actually comes with an SCS and a standard size bar as well and it has 120 millimeter wheels. So these are pretty much identical to the wheels that come on the Bone Deck or the 12 mil standard. So these are really nice. I've been riding these for a little bit. I haven't ridden them with the standard size bearings. I've only been riding them with the 12 mil standard bearings. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this one goes. And it comes with the standard, just hashtag ride UA grip tape right here. So the Urbanite has a total foot space of 15.2 inches. I mean, that's pretty good for a 21 inch deck. The Urbanite has a really small head tube. So that means you're gonna get the maximum foot space possible. The more foot room, the better in my opinion it just makes the deck feel bigger and it's just better i just like foot room when you have a really long deck with a small foot space it just doesn't feel as big as it is it kind of feels a lot smaller so this is going to feel bigger than 21 inches purely because of the foot room it has right here it's going to feel like a normal 22 deck most decks have quite a small foot space compared to say your urban art your tsi stuff like that so this is going to be super super nice the grind rails on the bottom are 1.2 inches wide each so it's going to give you a decent amount of room to grind on, on the bottom and the deck actually isn't square at the back which is a bit of a downfall but in saying that most of the kids that buy square decks are never even use the back end anyway so it doesn't matter this is just a deck you want to be able to get on do lots of 50s and just have a reliable strong scooter you guys don't necessarily need the square back ends if you guys are first starting out you most likely won't use them anyway, so it's all good. You can just get some mini pegs, cut them down, make them the same size as the deck, it'll be all sweet. It's all good, don't worry about that. So the Urban Art comes with a little mini brake like it usually does in Chrome, and it has a fully integrated headset as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build this whole thing up, get on it, go to the skate park, go for a ride, because I can't wait to get my hands on this and ride this. Meeting up with Snowy and Connor, the boys, we're gonna be seshing, it's gonna be sick. See you guys in a sec. So the scooter is all finished, all done up, ready to go. The only thing that really annoys me is I tighten everything up and while I was hitting the bars in, because the clamp was quite tight, I didn't do the 20 cent coin trick, couldn't be bothered. The compression came loose, but it doesn't really matter. I don't mind a loose compression. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna get some cinematic shots. And we're gonna hit up maybe my flat bar, I highly doubt it, but I got a homie over here and he has never rode the flat bar before, so I might set it up. Then we're gonna go to the skate park, get some clips. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go to Rosebud Skatey, so very excited for that one. Let's get some nice cinematic shots. So the scooter is now all done, set up, got some nice cinematic shots. The scooter looks really sick. I like the red clamp. The wheels look good as well. I know for a fact they feel pretty nice. I've ridden them before. But the bars did come with a bit of a scratch on them. I'm guessing it was from the airline company because the box itself was pretty destroyed as well. So, I mean, it's not so much of a big deal. But for you guys, if you're buying a brand new scooter and you were to get this like this, I know you'd be disappointed. But that's nothing to do with Urban Art. It was the airline's fault, I'm guessing. It's just a little bit of a scratch right here but that's all good we're going to set the camera down we're going to warm up have a little session on this scooter i'll see you guys at the next skate park so we're now here at rosebud skate park i did one thing before i left my house and i had to cut the bars down i tried to ride out the front on the flat bar i sessed it for a little bit you guys might have seen it in my insta story but i just couldn't do the 24 and a half inch wide it just felt so i won't be able to use this scooter to its full potential if i have the bars that wide of how small the handlebars are it just didn't feel that great so so i'll let you guys know that in advance but one thing I'm probably most likely going to do is take this damn brake off because I, I just can't ride with a brake these days. I don't know what it is. I'm just so used to riding without one. So riding with one kind of feels super weird. We're down here at Rosebud though. We've got the boys. We've got Snowy over here who's on my scooter. I'm going to be riding that after I ride this one for a little bit. We've got Connor over there. We've got Matt. We're now on the GoPro. Not going to be getting a whole great deal of clips as I'm not used to this scooter. It's a lot smaller than what I normally run. 
and I'm not quite used to it yet because of the difference in the bars and stuff like that but we're gonna do our best we're gonna get as many clips as we can we're gonna start it off with the rail let's get it Problems. Finger whip problems. This is a, quite a common occurrence for me. I always split my hand. I don't damn finger whips. I'm gonna clean myself up, redeem myself with that 180 finger. We haven't even cleaned our hand off. We just got a little bit of the blood that was just kind of dripping out of the way, but we're gonna redeem ourselves right here. Woo, thank God. And I switched up to the other camera, see on that. Just got done riding this little beast right here. It is so fun. 21 inches did feel a little bit weird to me, obviously, because I'm used to 22.5 and 4.7 wasn't that big of a deal. The scooter overall felt really cool. Being 4.7 and being 21 inches didn't make any difference for 50s. So as you guys could tell, I could still do fakey 50s and stuff like that, whip to 50s, all the 50 combos that I can usually do. I was still able to do very easily with this deck. Don't let that fool you. If you guys are after a nice, cheap, complete, this one is the one for you right here. If you like to do grinds, this one's gonna be perfect. I love this scooter. But that's enough for riding with this scooter for today. I'm gonna let my homie ride this one. I'm gonna switch it up to my other scooter, get some clips at Rosebud. Juzzy just rocked up with Max and Vinny. Say what up, Max. Yeah, g'day, mate. How you going? Juzzy's over here with the boys. Got a, few, got a bit of a crew down here today, which is pretty cool. Couple of locals down here. So before, Max was having a chat to me about how he wants to do a truck off the kicker on his bike with his scooter grips on here. So, Max is going to truck off it. First try. If he doesn't get a first try, he's going straight in the water that's over there. Yeah. Uh, see what happens. Nice. You're lucky. Back it up. Snake. Ah. Oh. West side. Oh, no, Max. <laughs> that wasn't West side. But he's gonna do a line at the whole skate park. Let's get it. Oh, and he's laying real sketchy already. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, this way, yeah. Ready, man? I'm just 
Yeah. We're going to count it though. Alright, give me another clip to do. What do you want to do? What are we doing? Call me a clip right now. Jump up far, manual upstairs. Yeah. And then on that ledge over there, front 50 to heel. Alright. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's going to be interesting. I don't know how it's going to go. The bar manual, no problems. The front 50 though, that's the real question right there. How's that going to go? And we need to think of a good angle. We don't know the angles. Like you can't even just like roll around and do a few tricks. Cause it's that hard. Oh. Yes. Fing hell. Ow. <laughs> I have my butt. Keep it anyways. Back him up. Oh. <laughs> so that's going to do it for Rosebud Skate Park today. I'm not going to film the boys. They're pretty done. They've got their Insta clips and they're ready to go. We're going to go look for some spots in the local areas around here. Go to Arthur's Seat, check out. Nice view up there. And we'll go to another skate park. I'll see you guys there. We're now at Frankston. We didn't end up going to any other parks. We we're going to go to Mornington, but that didn't actually happen. So now we're here at the local. We're going to be chilling. We've got the GoPro on, obviously, as you guys can tell. We're going to get some clips on this thing. Switch up to the other camera. Have a little bit of a chat. Maybe get some clips. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. That's enough for the GoPro clips. I'm gonna switch up to my other camera because I'm trying to do something funny right now. I'm gonna film it. See you on that. So Max just wants us to suffer. So he wants us to go back in time and do some prehistoric tricks. What do you want to see? Uh, Smith, double whip Smith, double whip feeble, Smith inward in. Apparently he wants to see that trick. I don't know who's gonna get it first. Me or Jackie will probably get it. I don't know, we'll try. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, he's going back to his old ways. Look at him go. That, that yeah. was. Oh, 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 my God. Do it with the board. Do it with the board. <laughs> yes. What the hell is that? That was amazing. I thought that was. We want to see you do something else. Uh, how do I even get into that? Like, how did you even kick your foot on that fake game five? That was just. 
out of control. Mate. All right, Vinny, I want to see you do an inward to feeble, and then I want to see you do a very bad sketchy hop to 270 Brian. I can't do Or 270 whip bar, one of them yeah, two. Right. Oh, no, 270 double whip. Whatever you hate the most, you're doing. Um, no, do a flip to fake him. He's got the sketchy hops. And the sliding in and out of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh! ah! Yes! Sponsor tape. It's fresh, it's ready. I was actually scared as fuck. Funny yeah. that fight. No way. Carb sitting you up. Like, yeah, yeah. That's oh, Canva. I still have my first Ultra Pro and my first. Yeah, boy, with no break. That's sketchy. That is sketchy. All right, Jazzy, we want to see three tricks that you never do. Right. I want to see a tuck your hand no. air, then an invert, um, and then a turn down. Yes, the, that's the it. The other two, oh, I'll do the, first, the other two first. I'll do turn down and invert. Actually, turn, turn down and invert. <laughs> <laughs> I want to turn down. Let me get it first. That's so weird. Oh, that was actually quite nice. That wasn't like that bad. <laughs> <laughs> that just went downhill. Like the invert started off so well and then it just ended so badly. <laughs> It'll never happen. As long as I keep riding, I'll never be able to tuck no hander. That was really good. Yeah. Let me back him up. Let me back him up. Do it. Sound. Oh, the Woo! So Max is actually a BMX rider. He's getting back on the scooter. It's been a long time. Loading some new tricks. Going back in time. <laughs> Too easy. Oh, first try. First try. What was that? Back him up, Vinny. 360 Buttercup. Oh, that was beautiful. I think Juzzy's feeling this one too. <laughs> Definitely is. <laughs> Back him up. My poor scooter. That was I nice. That over a box. Oh, I mean, with the Indians. Yeah. Rather do it like a look sh guys because I didn't land the first shot. <laughs> but it's just because you're scared. It's like you don't want to do it as fast as you can because it hurts. It does. Fly out actually sucks. Like rip to anyone's scooter. No wonder your kids break so much stuff. <laughs> My poor scooter. I feel so sorry for it. <laughs> oh, oh my bangers. god. Can Juzzy land the banger? Yes, he can. Too easy. Oh, with the backups from Max. Vinny, don't Wait, wreck it. The next best thing after Quint Whip. Oh, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> the boys have been killing it. We've just been going back to the old times of what it used to be like down at Frankston Skate Park. This place used to be packed with scooter riders, but that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, do that kind of good stuff. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.